Okay, today we're going to discuss the wooden dummy form. I have a, another video in which I talk about the wooden dummy form, and this will be a continuation of that video discussing some of the techniques and also how to develop power or fa li when you do the wooden dummy form because a lot of people don't know the secret of emitting power in the Chinese martial arts. So I will discuss that since I've practiced the Chinese martial arts since the early 1990s with various masters. And most of my masters have been in Tai Chi or Tai Chi or um, other styles of martial arts, but the principles are the same, are, or at least very similar. And um, sometimes people who are practicing um, Wing Chun, for example, might not know about the principle of being rooted. So when we do the first form of the 116 movements, one thing I recommend is also learning the three different forms, xiao nian to. Xiao nian to means little thought, and little in Chinese means something that's actually big or powerful, because uh, usually when people say, that they're not good at something in Chinese culture. Um, you'll learn if you live in China that sometimes when somebody says, I'm not good at something, they're actually pretty good at it. Uh, so xiao, also when you're um, uh, doing uh, Chinese martial arts, for example, if you're doing this nei gen, uh, or nei gen shou, you see here, see how this is pretty big. Now I use my waist, and you see how my feet change like that as well? So this is the root, the waist, arms are empty. That's why I call my style of martial arts, Xu Xuan Dao. Xu means empty fist. So, also do this with this. So now, um, how do you hit the wooden dummy? You don't just like that, hit it hard. When you finally, Turn your waist and then here. And it's actually a soft, soft power. So you can lean. Okay, so that's the gun chan. So now if you see first stop, big, then stop. smaller it's harder to do techniques xiao or small more compressed okay if you're doing it first when you're learning da, big da, big xiao. okay so the next thing is your center line see Okay, so here, do very big ones. Wow, and so. And then do small ones. Okay, so um, that's a uh, technique. Now, if you go to um, the intermediate form, Shun Qiao, Shun Qiao. Qiao is right here. This is still the qiao. And then when you guo, the qiao, the bridge, that's when you strike. Okay, so here's the qiao. And then the bridge, you cross the bridge and strike. Now, in the pushing hands in Tai Chi, you're not going to always emit full power against the person because you would destroy the person because your root and your whole body your whole body is in every single move of Wing Chun. And it's also true with Tai Chi. So for example, when you're here and here, when you punch right here, and say you're punching right here, okay, how do you do the one inch punch? To come here, just turn your waist, your heel, and then you're already going to be punching through the target. 
just here, turning the waist a little, and you're punching through the target. Same thing here, I'm right here, turn the waist a little, you're punching through the target. Now, another thing is the third form, the outer. So a lot of people now, they practice Wing Chun. Here you're going to hit, where do you go with the Biao Zhi? Biao Zhi is, Zhi is the fingers. So here you're going to go to the eyes. So look for the eyes. And it's going to hurt your fingers a little. Don't do it too hard. Soft. Use soft power. Gradually your fingers will get stronger. Okay? Right here in the solar plexus area and you're really going to hurt the person. Or in the throat, the nose, or the eyes. And also, right here, in the armpits. Okay, so. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the higher form. And then, so. Right, so. Okay, so those are different techniques. So, but be careful when you're doing the Vyalza, you don't want to hurt your, your hand. You can easily break your fingers practicing this. So do it very softly, build up your fingers over a lot of practice. Cause as you see, it can shake and it can hurt your fingers pretty a lot. So, don't do it too hard. Use soft power until you have developed your skills. Okay, so now we're actually going to the form. So one, two, three. And so here, so feel your connection. So how do I move from here? This is in the center line to here. Use my waist and turn from here, okay? So you don't see that. So a lot of people learning the wooden dummy, they'll be like, oh, I move my hand. This means nothing in the Chinese martial arts. It's the whole body, then strike from, now from here, strike, always go the path of shorter resistance. So don't go like this, like that, that's bad form, just to here. So here, right here, and then here is the grab. And now you're going to step, you're going to bong so, and then you're going to turn tan da. Okay, so tan so is like this. And so make sure your angle is correct. Step back over, wai gun so. Okay, there are different names for this. Um, I only speak Mandarin, so I don't speak uh, Cantonese. Um, if you're learning, from a Cantonese person, um, that's really kind of good because um, it really did start from that area. But of course I can read the um, Chinese characters for the Cantonese and uh, guess the meaning, um, but it really helps when I have videos and I see the Chinese characters um, because then I can understand. And um, I will um, add to this a uh, another video um, that I really recommend that you watch. Um, it will have a lot of terminology from Wing Chun in Chinese. And I plan to do more videos about that. So from here, you're gonna step over. So this stepping is very important. This is Du Fa. And then you're gonna come over here and Tan Da. So this is a Zhang and then this is Tan So. And then you're going to step over and then Wai Gang So. And then you're going to come here, and then this is a, a chuan shou, and then dan da, so da with the zhang. And then you're going to push downwards, push upwards, so use a whole body, and turn here. Okay, and now you switch to here, and this is just the mirror image, tan shou. Here, here, here. So, Bang so, make sure you're in between here, and then you have the block right here. Step, come here, and then 
come here. So see how I use my waist? Don't just move your hands like this. No, it's the whole body. See? You don't have to move the whole dummy like that, but right here, I put a lot of weights onto the dummy. And okay, and then so you're gonna go here, right? And then you're coming, stepping over, and right here. And so panda, and then from here, and then right here. And now the only difference here is you strike here, right here, okay? And then one, two, three. So now we're already on the third levels, uh, third section, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice how I use my waist every time in this strike. So one, I use my waist here. Two, use my waist. Relax your hands, use your whole body, pivot here. It's really coming from the heels, coming in through here. Keep this, one, two, three. If you can do it smaller, you're going to be better than the people who are doing it big. And don't be to totally loose, but compact in here. One, two, one. A little leaning forward, two, three. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. Up here. Okay, you can use it. No force, relax. Here. And then strike here. Kick. See, use my whole waist, my whole body. Whole body, right? Kick here. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and now I'm gonna do it again. Very slow motion. One, two, three, one. Two, one, two, one, two, three. Kind of divided it into one, two, one, two, three, like one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the third section. So now we're already on the fourth section. So the fourth section is gonna be here. So now some people actually touch the dummy right here, the arms, come here and then come here. And then one, two, three. One, two. One, two, one, two, three. And here. So, and then you're gonna come here. And hit here. And then one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so let's do it again. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two. Three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. So a lot of times I like to divide them up into sequences of uh, three. So um, however you would like to do it. Now you, I recommend that when you're learning the wooden dummy form, you follow a lot of different people doing it different ways and just focus on learning it the way that you feel is most comfortable for you. So you don't have to necessarily do it exactly the way that I'm doing it because there are lots of other masters um, doing the wooden dummy form in different ways. And there are some subtle differences, um, but those subtle differences are not so important and you might think, well, well, this master is doing it wrong and the others. Um, that's really due to a cultural misunderstanding. 
because for the Chinese people, um, basically the general principles are more important than the, the, some of these small details that are a little different. Um, for example, sometimes it's not even just how you're moving your hands, um, but see, if somebody's really bad, they're oh, just moving their hands like this. That's not even following any principles, but if one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Okay, now your punch, a lot of people are, oh, I can go really fast, like, shoo, 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 but there's no power in their punch. See how I use my waist? See how the dummy moves like that? If I use my full power. Now, I don't recommend you hitting the dummy like that because it is solid wood and you will really hurt yourself. But I would say it's better if your punches are slow and rooted than fast and uncoordinated and without power. Okay, so the next part is ha! The sound. Ha! Okay, from here. Ha! Okay, so that's also another thing. Ha! 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 Okay, so. Ha! Ha! Relax. The, why does the sound help you develop power from here? Ha! Because, because you're emitting energy from this tan tian, which is three inches below the navel. Okay, so now we're on the fourth part. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, here, and then this is the butterfly palms. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, and you can just mainly use, use the waist here. When you, okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two. Now, from, from here, see here, right? If you use the power from your waist, it's just a little tap right here. So yes, that's the principle of not using power. Relax, breathe. Through here, step here. Just a little tap, but that little tap is very powerful. Here, tap, a tap, here, a tap. Um, so this is that shu shu jiu. Shu jiu is um, power that comes from relaxing and sometimes speed and a little tap right there at the end, a little wave of energy from the whole body. And that's already going to be a lot of power. So 
you don't have to hit the dummy so super hard, even though I also have videos where I hit it pretty hard. Um, it's not absolutely necessary. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So one, two, one, two. So here, one, two, three, four, one, two. Always remember the whole body moves. If any part of your body moves, the whole body moves from here down, right? So you, um, so the concept also, Chan Si Ji, Chan Si Ji is like a motion from your waist your whole body curling around, right? So then you can develop your power slowly from that, okay? So you can see all of these moved. So, okay, so now we're on the next one which is one, so white gun so two, three, center line, right? And then you're gonna do a bang so, chop here and come here with the uh, down and then here. And then one, two, three, and then come here. And so, now you're gonna step over and so some people just come right here and you're gonna kick right here, then come here, right? Step over and then kick over here and then hit here, 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 and then there. Okay, so now we've gotten to the next uh, level so this basic basic one is going to be from here okay and then you're going to strike here strike here and then come here and then you're going to strike here and strike here and then here one and now you're going to step in and hit here and then one right here you're going to step in and hit here and then strike turn here down here so again the power right it's just a tap tap but the whole body coming in from there so a lot of times it's just a little tap and the whole body is coordinated and then relax, breathe. See, the power comes from there. And you can see if the dummy shakes a lot like that, but you, you just get that tap in there. That's fali, it's turanda, very um, suddenly. And, but the whole body, jungle senti. Okay, so um, now we're going to the last um, part of the dummy form section, I believe it's section eight here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, one. Now, some people just go two, three, and then like that. But I like to make a mirror image uh, simply because um, the whole purpose of training a form is to learn the techniques. A lot of people have um, misunderstood that and they believe that learning a form is just memorizing a whole bunch of things like meditation, but there's no self-defense purposes, but there really are. And so you should really learn how to fali in that approach. Oh, so, so you can see once I do too much of a fali, this um, 
this part right here comes off. I have to glue this together. So, um, so, but Charlie, 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 practice a thousand times. Use your waist. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this. So, um, so. So that's, that's a principle right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, but in the form is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then, so what you're going to do is hit here, and then come here, and then strike right there. So one, I put this here because this is going to set up the kick here and then you're going to come here and grab here and take that so and then through one two three four and then there's some people who do add one two three four and then basically that's that's it so um, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, maybe I should show you this last one um, one more time. One, two, three, four, boom. One, two, three, four, boom. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Some people pick under there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and then if you want to do that. Okay, and that's basically it for today and I will also have a video of some of the Chinese names for different techniques um, but also remember that if you just practice um, like 108 techniques right so You can practice any um, series of techniques in isolation. Or just rep repetitive. doesn't really matter. Um, the point is to be fluid. You 
can change the angle. So um, the sky is limited in terms of techniques that you can practice. Don't forget to practice home strikes too. So also, also blocking, punching, 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 block, punch, 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 punch. Create your own applications or combinations and your own footwork because in a fight in a fight in a real fight you're going to have to be very flexible and change to the situations. Okay, so it's really up to you how you uh, develop your techniques. Um, the thing is, to gradually think through your techniques, think what makes sense. Which makes sense with the center line. Make contact with your opponent. If you see. Lots of uh, different points about how do you coordinate the waist because maybe it makes more sense to go this way, right? Connection to the dummy. One, two. So also Sina. So develop your own combinations. I hope you enjoy this.